join this community guys hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and if you enjoyed this video thumbs the video up so Tyson Fury's promoter Mr. Frank Warren has said that in order for him to make the fight between Tyson Fury and uh, Mr. Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn has to offer him a 50-50 split, right? So it has to be basically what Deontay Wilder wants, right? The same type of offer, 50-50 split. Frank Warren says that Eddie Hearn didn't go to him and offer him the 60-40 split. He went to Tyson Fury and offered him some uh, sort of a, a purse to face Anthony Joshua, April 13th. Frank Warren says it wasn't 60-40, though. It wasn't 60-40. It was a, a basically a poor uh, purse split, right? Clearly, clearly, he wasn't satisfied by it because he says he wants a 50-50 split. So he wasn't happy with what uh, Eddie Hearn offered Tyson Fury. So <laughs> uh, uh, Eddie Hearn is not even going to Tyson Fury's promoter, Frank Warren. He's just going right to the fighter saying, hey, I'll offer you this. So Frank Warren wants 50-50 split. Um, ben Davidson, the uh, trainer of uh, Mr. Tyson Fury, also wants 50-50 split. So I have a question for my UK subscribers. Is he uh, Tyson Fury? Is he in a position to demand a 50-50 split versus Anthony Joshua? Is he? Because when it comes to Wilder, I know that Deontay Wilder is not in a position to be demanding no 50-50 split, right? Because Deontay Wilder is not a big draw like that. So I know that Deontay Wilder is not a big draw that he could be demanding, that he has this much power in the negotiation tables and he could be demanding this type of money, right? I know that Deontay Wilder has never is not selling out no arenas, no stadiums in the United States. I know he's not, you know, making, you know, generating 1.5 million pay-per-view buys in the United States. He's not a big draw like that, right? He's just not. So he doesn't have the money and the audience to be demanding this type of money, right? So I know he is not uh, able to demand this type of money. Or it's basically he's reaching when he's going around saying, give me that 50-50 split. He needs to just accept whatever Eddie Hearn offers him, right? But when it comes to Tyson Fury, I'm not from the UK, so I don't, I can't really like sit here and tell you that he's a big name in the UK because, I, like I said, I'm not from there. You guys are from there, right? At least my UK subscribers. So you guys would know better than me. So, like, I like, but when it comes to me, if I'm like looking at Tyson Fury's resume, he has a, a good resume. You know, he did beat Vladimir Klitschko. He was a former unified champion, right? When he beat Vladimir Klitschko, he was a U former unified champion, right? So I would think that would give him stock. I mean, beating Vladimir Klitschko back in 2015 is better than anything Deontay Wilder did in his career. Let's be real here. Because Deontay Wilder beat Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz ain't no champion. He wasn't no long reign champion. Deontay Wilder had that one belt. Tyson Fury uh, beat Vladimir Klitschko and became a unified champion. Right. So I would think that would put him in a higher position than Deontay Wilder because well, like I said, well, the thing is, he's not a champion anymore, but he did. He was a former champion, right? Now, I personally believe that, like, had he beaten Deontay Wilder and had he taken that belt, then, yeah, it would have made him, and it would have given a better, he would have been in a better position, basically, because, obviously, he would have been a former champion who beat Vladimir Klitschko, and now he has the WBC belt. But the thing is, he doesn't have that belt. Although, I think his stock still rate, you know, his stock still rose because of the fact that, how he performed against Deontay Wilder, but he's still not the champion. So, um, again, I always got the impression as a guy who's not from, as a boxing fan who's not from the UK, I always got the impression that uh, people like Tyson Fury and people don't like Tyson Fury in the UK because there are times where I'll see people defending him in the UK, UK boxing fans defending him, but then I'll see the UK boxing fans, you know, not defending him and saying, you know, talking bad about him, criticizing him. So I get the impression that somebody like Tyson Fury is loved and hate and, and hated in the UK. That's just my impression. That, I know. That's, that's what I believe as a boxing fan who's not from the UK.
Uh, but let me guys know, is, is this guy, uh, Tyson Fury, is he actually worth, could he actually demand a 50-50 split? Or could he not? And uh, is it like I say, is he, the? Uh, I get the impression more people like Anthony Joshua over Tyson Fury, but I still think that people in the UK like uh, uh, Tyson Fury because I, I see a lot of UK boxing fans defending him a lot. So, like, can you guys let me know, like, how is the relationship between boxing fans, be between UK boxing fans and Tyson Fury in the UK? Like, do they, uh, is it like the way I say, do some, do like, Half of, of of the UK boxing fans respect Tyson Fury. You know they respect him because he was a former unified. But then others they don't like because I know Tyson Fury. A lot of times he he makes people uh, he pisses people off with the things he says. Right? Like for example, if he if he this is Anthony Joshua and he makes fun of Anthony Joshua and and he like you know talks bad about him, I would imagine. Plenty of Anthony Joshua fans who come from the UK would not like that, you know, and they'll and they will probably dish back at him. They'll leave comments on his social media, right? Just like when you know Deontay Wilder, you know, just like when Anthony, excuse me, just like when Tyson Fury was poking fun of uh, Deontay Wilder. I'm pretty sure many Deontay Wilder fanboys, you know, when when Tyson Fury said Deontay Wilder hasn't fought anyone, he's he funneling but bums. I remember a bunch of uh, I remember a bunch of Deontay Wilder fans, of course, got pissed about that and they left him comments in his twitter account saying you don't know what you're talking about shit like that or on social media you know on youtube so um yeah that's what i want to know like how is the relationship between uk boxing fans and tyson fury how do they how do you guys like him uh because i think in the uk at least my i, I believe it looks to me that uh uk boxing fans support their fighters a lot and I think that Tyson Fury should obviously receive a lot of money facing somebody like uh, Anthony Joshua. Do I think necessarily it's 50-50 split? Like I said, I can't really answer that because I'm not from the UK. Um, but if I, if, I, if I were to answer, it was, I would say no. Uh, I would think that he would need to have, have a belt at least. I don't think he could demand a, that type of money. Like, I don't think he could demand that type of money, and he doesn't even have a belt yet. I know he was a former champion, but again, he hasn't had, he, you know, but then again, like, th there was a person who told me before, like, yeah, but he, look at how much, look at what he did against Deontay Wilder. And I'm like, okay, but he didn't become, he didn't win the belt. Anyway, guys, that's the question. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, and thanks for watching. I'm out.